Hey guys, welcome back to a very special edition of the Chuckload of Comics Day 2 of Social Quarantine here in Chicago. Uh, we're continuing our series, our how-to series on improving YouTube videos, uh, giving you some tips and tricks on uh, equipment and stuff that we use uh, for our weekly YouTube show. You know, we like to share the knowledge. Uh, it's, it's a community-based thing, this YouTube. So um, what we're going to be looking at today is wide-angle lenses. Uh, if you shoot your shows and your photography on a cell phone, you've probably used these clip-on wide-angle lenses. So we're going to break down and do a comparison contrast, a side-by-side -side of the two top-selling ones in the market. What we're not going to look at are those really crappy little tiny clip-on ones. Those are garbage. I know you see these things on Amazon, and they, they say how great they are. They are crap. If you're going for wide-angle lenses, these are the only two you want to use. What I've got here, about a foot and a half away from me, I've got two cameras. Two identical iPhone cameras. They're about, a, uh, I'd say about 18 inches away from my face. That's what we're going to do. That's our control. So we're going to do some side-by-sides in studio, and then we're going to go outside and see what they look like in the real world. First one we're going to look at is this guy. This is the uh, Moment lens. You can buy it at shopmoment.com. It is by far the Rolls Royce of wide-angle cell phone lenses. It is an 18 millimeter lens, provides maximum edge to edge clarity, minimal distortion, sharp images, both in photography and in video. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like in this shot that we're looking at right here. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this thing on. What's cool about the moment lens, it's not your standard clip on lens. You can, what you do is you purchase this special phone case that goes on your phone. They sell them for different models and brands of phones. And you just take your lens here. If I can do this one-handed, it just clips right on to the front of the phone. You just put it on there and twist. It locks into place. Why is that important? It's important because these lenses have to go perfectly over uh, the lens of your camera. Otherwise, you get all kinds of distortion and craziness. So this locks it in place every single time. And you can walk around without any fear of it slipping. So let's take a look at the moment lens here on camera two. You can see immediately how wide this shot is. Uh, what was short little shot like this before, now with the moment lens, you can see all the way from fireplace uh, to stormtrooper helmet again. Without, with, we want to take a look at, um, if you've ever used these lenses before, you know when you get to the edges, there's always a bit of bending. There's a little bit of uh, distortion. So I got myself a little little dowel rod here to show you that with the moment lens, the further you get out to the side, almost no distortion, almost zero bending. You can see all the way at the edge of my frame, uh, the picture is still straight up and down. So that's huge. It doesn't get uh, soft. It gets a little soft in the edges, but almost, almost minimal. So the moment lens, if money is not an object, uh, this is, like I said, the Rolls Royce of uh, wide angle lenses. It's going to cost you about $100 that's without the lens cap and without the case. So with a lens cap and a case, you're probably looking at about $120, $130 uh, for a whole moment lens package, but it is the best of the best. So if you're on a budget, let's take a look at this next one. This is the BC Masters clip-on. And the first thing you're gonna notice is A, this thing is huge. I mean, look at the size of this clip-on lens and also it's very heavy. Um, it's, it's, it, I think it's got an all metal frame tons of uh, etched glass in this thing. It, it weighs probably about two pounds. Um, so some people fear that that might make it slip off your phone. I've never had that issue. What I also like about it is it comes included in the price with a lens cap, both on the front and in the back. So we're going to go ahead and clip this bad boy on. It's also, oh, it's worth mentioning, this is a two-in-one lens. So it's a wide angle. And then you can unscrew the wide angle part and it's macro. So we'll get into that in just a second. So let's go ahead and take a look go back to our cameras. Got to clip it right on the front. It's got uh, a good rubber clip. I got to get this just right. You don't get these things clipped on just right. You're going to see all kinds of distortions. So that is about as perfect as perfect can be. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the image with the BC Masters. Still a really wide shot, not quite as wide uh, as the moment, but pretty good, man. For $12, you can't beat it. So let's go ahead and do the edge-to-edge -edge test. Again, this is with the BC Masters. You can almost tell immediately that as soon as you get to the edge, your, your dowel starts to bend considerably, so you do get a little bit of that fish-eyeing uh, when you get out to the edge, but still not nearly as bad as those cheapo 
a uh, little clip on ones that you get at, at Dollar General and, and on Amazon. So you do get a little bit of edge to edge distortion. So let's do a side by side. This is the BC Masters. Let's go back to the moment. You can see the moment you do get a wider shot. It's a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit crisper. But $12, $100. $12, $100. And again, that's what they look like when they're on the front of the camera. You can see the size difference. The BC Masters is massively bigger than the moment. So tell you what. Why don't we, this is again, this is the moment lens right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at what these things look like outside in the real world, outside of the studio environment. Let's go take a look outside. We'll be back here in just a second. All right, so this is us walking down our alley. If this was not Chicago, we'd be in a nice pretty park, but this is what this is what we have to work with. This is no lens at all. It's just a standard camera lens. Pretty much see from garage to garage. Let's take a look at the more expensive moment lens. See if we can notice a difference. All right, so this is the exact same walk I just took, but with the moment lens. You can see a whole heck of a lot more uh, side to side. You see there's almost no side distortion. If you look at like on the right hand side of the screen, you can see uh, the way the sighting goes straight across. No bending whatsoever. And it's got a really cool cinematic look. So this is kind of what it looks like outside. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to take a look at the BC Masters lens and do a little comparison contrast. All right, so this is the BC Masters lens. Still looks really good. Outside is not quite as wide as the moment lens. You can almost immediately tell on the right hand side, again, with the sighting, you see there's a little bit of warping and distortion uh, when you look at the sighting on the right, but not that much. It still looks really good. Not as wide as the moment, but still a really cool wide shot. And for finishers, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this clip. This is with nothing at all. So you can see a pretty big difference between that and that. So much wider shot. So let's go back in the studio, wrap this thing up. All right, so there you go. That's what they look like outside. Before we wrap this up, I wanted to talk about the macro uh, feature of the BC Masters um, lens. If you don't know what macro is, it basically allows you to take insanely close-up shots. Like if you want to take a picture of an ant, on, on a log, you need to use a macro lens because it keeps focus super duper close. So you basically take this bad boy, and it's probably out of focus, but you can unscrew the wide angle lens part. Let's unscrew it, it's taking me forever. A lot of threading on this thing, which is good, so it doesn't fall off. So now you got the same clip on, but now it's macro. So let's go ahead, put it on the edge of the phone. I want to show you what this looks like. Clips right on the front of your phone. Let's take a look at how awesome this macro lens is. Obviously, first thing you notice is I'm very out of focus because I'm too far away. But if you want to take some crazy awesome close-ups, take a look at this. That's at about less than an inch away from the screen. Beautiful, beautiful macro lens on the BC Master. So I'm going to take this off. So guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. Have you used the moment? Have you used the BC Masters? If I had to give a recommendation, if you're on a budget, you cannot beat the uh, BC Masters wide-angle lens. Um, but honestly, again, the Cadillac of the, the Rolls-Royce of wide-angle lenses is the moment lens. So let us know what you think. If you're on a budget, go with the BC. If you're not on a budget, money's not an option, get the, uh, get the moment. So I'm rambling. Guys, have a fantastic day. Hope this was enjoyable. Click that subscribe button. Join us here next week for all the fun. And have a fantastic week. Stay healthy, stay safe. We'll see you here next time.